We're talking heavy metal cards. We're talking thumb wrestling cards. And some Magic the Gathering. Lots of crazy stuff in this mail day video. Stick around and see what I've got. I said we were starting with some oddball stuff. Well, actually I said this whole video is going to be oddball stuff. And it is. We're going to start with these 91 WWF playing cards. I am going to be doing a video about these pretty soon. A lot of underrated stuff in this. Got this complete set in box. Pretty affordable. So stay tuned for that. Now, what in the heck is this, you're asking? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the only existing FMW wrestling game. There's Onita right there on the front telling you, hey, you better buy this game or I'm going to throw you in an exploding barbed wire pit. It's actually a pretty terrible game, but with all these FMW wrestlers on here, I thought this was something I had to have. Great condition. Oh, look at this. I got two. These are complete in box. I'm going to be sending those in to get graded. Just something really cool to have. You don't see them a lot. These are the Super Famicom, by the way. I should have said that. Japanese version of the Super Nintendo, for those of you who are not into video games. But it's kind of a just... It's not super rare, but to find them complete in box, I didn't see a lot of them. So I had to pick them up as soon as I saw them. And you, I don't know if I've mentioned it before on here, but I'm a huge FMW fan and kind of been going down the rabbit hole of FMW lately. So you might see a lot more FMW content. Maybe I can get some FMW collectors on here. But I just love these things and I've always loved Onita. I think he's more important in wrestling than many realize and doesn't get the credit he deserves. Similar to Hogan, similar to Vince. Hey brother, did you mention my name? You said Hulk. Him the Hulkster right here for you. That's right, Sports Illustrated 1985 Matt Mania with Hogan on the cover. And I've got two of these, and i got another one below here, so three copies in total. Just something else I thought I'd start making a play on, you know, some of the Sports Illustrated first-time covers. It's nothing new. I've seen people been doing it, but I haven't seen a lot of Hulk Hogan's. So just something I'm looking at. I'll get these graded. Uh, I know I'll get counted off for this. But you guys know how I feel. Stuff like this in slabs over time, I just feel like will go up in value regardless of the grade. I'd mentioned Magic the Gathering. We've got a couple more Alpha cards. We have another Ogre, and we've got a Fear card. I mean, look at the artwork on this. This is why I love especially Alpha Magic the Gathering. The art is, like, so primitive. It just screams, like, fantasy role-playing. And if you guys are into that, or if you played Magic back in the day... Like, you, you can't get away from how awesome this artwork is. Like, sometimes the I would buy these cards, and I am buying these cards right now because I don't play the game anymore, but the artwork kind of overrides the card aspect. So just, I, you know, when I think the artwork kind of is more important than the game itself, that's when you have a really good trading card system. I spoke about some heavy metal cards, so here we go. Sealed box of Mega Metal Cards. Look at the bands on here. You got Bon Jovi, Skid Row, Iron Maiden, Slaughter, Judas Priest, Billy Squire, Robert Plant. Some of the, one of these things is not like the other. Uh, there's more bands in here though, but you know these used to be about I don't know 15, 20 bucks a piece shipped, and I think I paid double that for this one, and it was one of the only ones on there. There's a Robert Plant. Look at that shirt. It's amazing. But anyway, I was originally gonna rip this. But since I can only find one now, I was like, you know what? This is going at this, with the sealed wax collection that you can see back here. I've got more stuff not shown, but I will not be opening this. And the reason I won't is because the cards I were searching for in that, I was able to find. Yes, that's right. All five King Diamond cards in this set. And who is King Diamond? Well, in case you're unaware, here's a clip. So talking about these, um, I'm not sure if you guys have kind of caught the hint or not, but like music is pretty much my other top passion outside of collecting cards and collectibles and selling and buying and all that fun stuff. Music has been like the one constant and it's not just metal. Like I like all kinds of music. And when I say that, like, and I know this isn't a music show, but like give me pretty much everything that's not like bro new country music. I even like classic country, but anyway, 
just something I'm able to reach back on, you know, something I like, something I still listen to with a lot of these bands. Um, I love Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Bon Jovi's still cool, Skid Row's still cool. And with having this cardboard, it just kind of sends me back to realizing how important music used to be and how important it still is to me in my life. And lastly, we're going to go through some stuff from an uh, organization, and I call it that, the NDWA, National Digit Wrestling Association. What the heck is this, you're asking? Guys, this is a professional thumb wrestling company. That's right. You can check them out. There's their website right there. I'm going to do a whole video on some of the product that they've sent me that we'll go over today. We've got some stickers and stuff, but here we have a complete series of their trading cards and look at some of these gimmicks i mean these are just amazing you got kind of the 85 tops fill right here great cards and i'll be doing a whole video on these uh guys nice enough to send me all of these there's a look at that one that's cool and then just he sent me some bonus We've got some power rangers some more there's a bay look at that hasselhoff rainbow nice and then he sent me some sealed wax Bill Nye, the science guy, can't go wrong with that. Free Willy, come on. These battle cards were amazing. Uh, maybe it's just because, again, I like the fantasy aspect, fantasy arts, and, like, role-playing games, stuff like that. But I remember, oh, look at that. Produced by Merlin. Where have you guys seen Merlin cards before? But these were, like, scratch-off cards, and it was a game you play, but I think they look cool unscratched. I'd like to see some graded. I don't think they'll grade very well based on the type of cards they are. I also worked out a deal with the person associated with the NDWA. And I got these unscratched Circle K cards. Some of them are not in the greatest condition, but that's okay. We were able to work a pretty good deal out. Look at that, Hogan. Great stuff. So make sure you guys go check out the NDWA, National Digit Wrestling Association. And like I said, I'm going to do a whole video on them. Uh, I might try to get some people from the organization on here to kind of talk about why they wanted to do that. Thanks again for checking out the video. Hopefully I've given you guys some ideas on either stuff you want to go buy and try to flip. Or more importantly, stuff that maybe kind of, I don't know, it kind of scratches that nostalgia feel for you. And it's all of a sudden you're like, hey, you know, I liked this thing. I want to go look up this these band cards or... You know, what is this new thumb wrestling federation, which is crazy. So maybe I'm hopefully bringing you that information, and it's something that you guys will be willing to go check out. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Share this with everybody you know. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's get more viewers. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Maybe we can do some kind of cool giveaway once we get there. We're a long ways from that. But if you guys can help get this out everywhere, we can get that going forward. Thanks again. I'll see you later.